Hi, I'm Joe with Family Handyman. Remember the old game show question, is it bigger than a bread box? Well, today's project isn't bigger than a bread box. It is a bread box. We're gonna make a bread box today out of this half inch Baltic birch plywood. Let's get started. This first cut, we're gonna get the two sides, the top and bottom out of this. The front of this box is gonna have an angle pointing in. Uh, we got this piece cut nine and three eighths. We're gonna get both the sides out of this. We need to draw a line on here on a diagonal 13.4 degrees and we'll cut it. Next, I'm gonna cut the width of the boards to 15 for the top and the bottom. The top and bottom piece need to have this angle on the edge, so we're gonna set the blade. We can use the uh, T-square, or we could just use the board to set the blade. Now that I have the angle on the board, I'm gonna cut it to width. Next, I'm gonna cross cut a piece at 14 inches and get the back, shelf, and door. Now I have all the pieces cut, I like to sand them before I assemble the cabinet. Next step before we start assembling is the door is gonna open on a pivot hinge. Uh, kinda looks like this. We're gonna drill a hole at the end of the, of the door on both sides and then also a hole in the side for the pivot to work. Now I'm gonna drill a 3 8 hole 5 16 inches deep using a Forstner bit and a drill press. Now I'm gonna start assembling this box. This is the back and the shelf. We're gonna start with that. It's gonna go in there like that. I'm gonna nail it from the back, but first I need to draw a line on the back of it so I know where to nail. Okay, next I'm gonna attach the left side. You can determine the left side by where the hole is at. Attach it to the back and to the shelf and then carry that line on the center of the back up into the left side so I know where to nail. Next I'm actually gonna attach the bottom and the top to my cabinet here just because this door fits and pivots between the two sides. So the right side is gonna be the last thing to go on the cabinet. I wanna add a door stop to the top, the inside top, so three quarters inches in from the front. Take a mark and it'll go to the short, to the short point on the bevel and then I'll nail it from the top. Now all I have left to do is make a handle for it, fill the holes, sand it, and finish it. There you have it, simple bread box, not too difficult, just using glue and nails. You can do it. For more plans like this, visit us at familyhandyman.com.